hey guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel so in my other video i showed you guys how to use vaseline on your hair and after using that vaseline the result i got was so so good it was so good that i just had to explore more ways of using vaseline on my hair and this one is a must try you guys just stay tuned watch to the end and see how to use this in a proper way to grow your hair out So because I don't want to waste you guys time, I don't want you to stay for too long watching this video. I just want you to implement, alright? I'm just going to go ahead to start this process. I've made a video where I explained everything that um, coffee actually does to your hair. And I will have a detailed video on everything Vaseline does to your hair, the benefits and all that. And it was actually that process and that video and the comment I got that made me realize that I actually have to try out numerous other means to use um vaseline on my hair all right but if you're new to my youtube channel please do wait to check out my other videos and please remember to subscribe to my youtube channel turn the notification bell on so you'll be notified each time i upload a new video and for my returning subscribers thank you guys so very much for tuning in thank you guys for the support for always coming back to watch my video so while going through this process i'm going to be chipping in some tiny things and some tiny information you need to know about coffee and vaseline so do make sure you watch to the end for this hair cream i am using nescaf coffee you can use any coffee that you are okay with but this is perfect i've seen people use it i've used it like two times on my hair and the result was okay so go ahead to use this one but if you can't find it use any other one you can get for yourself all right and as you guys can see i use just two sachets of my nescaf coffee you can use more than that but the reason why i keep producing um hair creams and hair butters or hair sprays in a small quantity is just because i don't use any preservatives for them so i wouldn't want any of it to spoil or i wouldn't want to be less confident um with it while applying it so i'm always very very careful so i simply produce what i can finish and when i am done with it i produce another one for myself because i can always get this product anytime i want all right after pouring my nescaf coffee into this um glass plates that i'll be using for my infusing i went on ahead to add oil my goshin olive oil like i always tell you make sure you use original oil for your hair if you can't get this goshin product use goya use any product you want but just make sure it is the original one because the fake one is likely going to irritate your hair so the next thing i'm going to be adding is my vaseline i told you guys in the other video that 100 petrolatum is the most effective occlusive moisturizer that you use on your skin or your hair and i greatly recommend this vest this blue sea vaseline it is very very good i've been using it and it actually works so i'm just going to scoop out a good quantity of um my vaseline and then i will transfer it to the glass plate as well this is going to be difficult at the start but don't panic don't worry just follow through the process and you will see how it will get easier for you along the way and as you guys know i always use this process this double boiling method for almost all my infusing processes it is quite better for me and it's quite easier but if you can blend this product together just blend it but if you're blending make sure you're using a tiny blender or just make sure you're producing this in a large quantity just so you won't lose all your products in the blender all right so you guys the water has already started boiling if you don't know what infusing method is it is simply putting water into your pan or into a big pot and then just um carrying your plate that your product is in and putting it into the water just um keep stirring the products on a very very low heat stir at intervals you can stir for as long as five to ten minutes and your product will simply dissolve and infuse properly like i told you guys this is not a so easy process but just have enough patience keep stirring keep stirring and keep stirring and um slowly your coffee is going to dissolve you guys know that coffee actually clogs so it's going to take time but it will dissolve and when it dissolves to this point go ahead and add any hair oil of your choice you guys know when i produced this oil like some days ago 
it is clove and rosemary oil i like using um cloves and rosemary oil in almost all the hair products i use even even if i buy it from the market i still like to add it this and then i am always confident with it okay so add any of your hair oil or if you don't have any hair oil please you can just skip this process but i really love the scent i really love what it does to my hair so i use it every time after adding a few drops of my cloves and rosemary oil please if you want to know how to prepare this oil simply check my videos i'm going to put the link in the description box check the video out it is quite simple you can prepare this at home for yourself all right just um added a few drops of my cloves and rosemary oil and then i stirred for some time and it is time to remove it from the fire it is going to look this way like in a, a watery form this way but this is not how it's going to stay permanently allow this to cool down allow it to cool off for some time you can remove it entirely from the pan or from the pots you used in doing the boil, double boiling method or you can leave it there allow it to cool for like two hours or three hours and after it must have cooled off this is how it looks like i just went on ahead to transfer this into my storage container and i want to apply this on my hair but then they took the light so i couldn't show you guys how i applied this on my hair but please always remember this make sure you moisturize your hair before applying this if you want to follow a, a good process or a very recommended process on how to apply this on your hair please just check out the video i did on how i used um just vaseline on my hair i i showed you guys the whole process on how i used it on my hair so you can use it that way you guys can you see the shine this product gives to your hair the shine is just what i love and then sealing the moisture i have on my hair it is equally good if you have low porosity hair this is actually recommended it is going to grow your hair because you use hair oil um olive oil and you poly your hair oil in it and most importantly you poly use coffee in it you guys i totally recommend coffee coffee darkens my hair very well if you have gray hair or if you have a, a light colored hair that you want to turn to a very dark colored hair try this um process out try this hair cream out and it's going to darken your hair i really recommend it also according to research coffee or the caffeine in coffee actually stimulates hair growth and stops hair fall and just that in coffee you probably helps in retaining moisture in your hair you already know that whenever you have a moisturized hair your hair breaking out is going to be very very difficult so use this product if you're experiencing hair fall or hair loss caffeine equally boosts blood flow to the hair follicles so i would really love to know if you're going to be trying this in the comment section and then if you've tried it i would equally love to know the result you got in the comment section all right thank you so much for watching this video to this point and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please kindly hit the subscription button we do have a good time here and turn your notification bell on so you'll be notified each time i upload a wonderful video for you don't forget to like this video and share i love you and i'll see you in my next one bye